Hi everybody, welcome to AutoTapo. Today we are installing the Tesla system on 2019 Jeep Wanger Hybrid Edition. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the system and the features that come with the system as well. This, this one actually is the newest version that will support the Hybrid Edition of the car. All the original features from the Hybrid, you will, um, for the vehicle information, you will also show up on the system as well. I will show you step by step. Let's start from the hardware specification of the system first. This is come the newest generation of the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset. It also comes the 8 GB of RAM and 128 GB of the storage memory. It also comes the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Since this system comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset, that means it also supports 4G LTE. That means if you have a, an extra SIM card you can insert to the system, you can access to the internet without connecting to the Wi-Fi hotspot of the cell phone. This one is very user-friendly. And this system also comes with the Wi-Fi hotspot. That means you can also, even you don't use the SIM card, you can also connect to the cell phone for the Wi-Fi internet. Let's start from the navigation first. This system also comes the offline navigation. You do not need to connect to any Wi-Fi to use the navigation. Because this system comes the offline GPS. Of course, you can also use the Google Map. The Google Map also comes with the offline feature. How to download the map? Basically, the first step is to connect to the Wi-Fi. You can pull down the menu from the top and then hold the Wi-Fi icon here and then you can connect to the cell phone hotspot once you connect to the cell phone hotspot then you can go to the google map right here click on the icon of nine map snap your own map and then basically you can just download the map data in your area once you download the map data to the unit next time when you use the google map you do not need to connect to the wi-fi anymore because the map data has already been saved on the unit and of course, this is also fully compatible with all the temperatures, such as you can change the fan speed right here. You can turn on the AC. You can turn on the heat seat. If your car comes with the cooling seat, you can also control it from the screen. However, this car does not equip with the cooling seat, so you cannot control it. And of course, you can also change the temperature right here. This car also equipped with the heating steam wheel. You can also control from here as well. The rear defroster, the front windshield, everything is fully compatible. And you can also turn off, okay? Turn off the climate control, okay? Other than that, of course, I, of, I'm gonna show you how to uh, bring up the hybrid vehicle information screen. Basically, just click on the console way right here. As you can see, all this kind of thing will connect to the car computer and everything will be connected to the screen here. You will not lose any of the original features such as the uh, hybrid when you change the screen over there. And also, you can also show up all this kind of information, okay? You can see everything is gonna be changed when I step on the gas. I'm gonna close the window. As you can see. And it will also show up everything right here, okay? And However, because this car is a hybrid edition, so the original dashboard is this. It's gonna be look like this, okay? For this hybrid, for this button, you can also connect it here, all right? As you can see on the screen. I'm gonna show you a little bit here. When you click on the screen, when you click on the button right here, everything is going to be fully compatible and of course you will not lose any of the feature like the steering wheel angle 
as you can see, you will connect the steering wheel. Everything will show up on the screen here. It's very nice, okay? And this one will also be changed if you change the um, four wheel drive. And then it's gonna be show up here. Everything will be sharp display on the screen accordingly, okay? I'm going to show you a little bit on the setting menu right here. If you go to setting here, you will see general audio video, okay? Let's start from the general setting first. The system comes with two built-in interface. One is the modern style and the other one is classic style. Let's check out how it looks like for the modern style. For the modern style, basically it looks like, it looks like this, okay? Of course, you can also relocate all the icon based on your personal preference. Of course, you can change the weather location, okay? How to change the weather location just click on the weather right here, okay? On North America, Canada, Ontario, because we are in Toronto, so basically you can just click on Toronto right here, and then you can see it will show the temperature right here. But I prefer the classic style. I will change back to classic style here. Once you change the classic style, it will, uh, looks like this, okay? And then, of course, you will also come in daytime mode and nighttime mode. Or maybe you can just leave it as auto. If you leave it as auto, you will connect the headlight, okay? You will synchronize with the time. If it's light time, you will automatically switch to light time mode. For the light time mode, everything will become black okay you will provide with more contrast i guess this one looks really really cool it match with the dashboard okay and however in in order to use uh uh, uh in order for for me to use it to, uh, to show you how it looks like on the on the on the videos i'm gonna change it back to daytime mode it will be easier for you to read all the um icon on the screen and of course, when you go to setting, make sure you change the radio region based on your area. If you're in Europe, you can change to Europe, all right? And you can also change the language right here, the units, the metric, and US. And of course, you can also change the audio too. This one also comes with the Equinizer, okay? It provides with many features that will allow you to change the sound of the vehicle. If you mess up with the setting, no problem. You just need to get on reset and then you will reset everything back to factory default. Sound gain, they will allow you to control the audio output of every single application, okay? This is very, very user-friendly and very useful. And video, basically, is the video in motion, okay? You will allow it to watch the video while the car is in motion. Of course, this car is most likely for the passenger, not for the driver. Driver better to focus on driving, right? If you're concerned about the safety, you can always turn it off, okay? If you turn off this feature, you won't be able to watch the video while the car is in motion. User will provide with a lot of features that allow you to customize the interface and all the feature of the system okay of the interface so first of all you can define the default navigation software you can change to offline navigation or the google map you can also change the boot up logo app customized as you can see you, you can define the music online like youtube music or spotify you can define any application here app one to five that one belong to here. For example, if I set the app one to YouTube, when you go back to the main menu, this one is called, okay. And the, the icon will change to YouTube, all right? It's very, very nice. You provide with a lot of feature that can customize, you know, to make you more user-friendly, okay, based on your personal preference, right? And system, actually, you do not need to change anything right here because we usually update all the settings and change all the settings before we ship out the system to you. And once you connect the Wi-Fi, on this icon you can see a lot of application right here of course you can download any of the 
application from the Google App Store. We already preload some of the application for you, like the Netflix. If you have the Netflix account, you can log into the Netflix and then you can enjoy the video right here. The screen actually is 14.4 inches. It's very big, okay? And also two bits right here. As you can see, the system is very smooth, okay? Because it uses the newest generation of the Qualcomm chipset. And of course, you can also download the YouTube, Spotify, Facebook, Instagram, Waze, anything you can download from the Google App Store, such as the Waze. This one actually is the navigation right here. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit of the YouTube. Okay, let's search. Okay, this is the YouTube way here, all right? You can see um, it, it's very smooth, okay? I'm gonna pay a little bit right here. With Google Workspace, apps like Docs, Drive, Gmail, and Meet are connected and in one place. So your whole team can make updates and stay up to date in real time. As you can see, the sound quality actually is very good, okay? This system, this car does not come with the Alpine sound system, okay? So basically, it's just the basic sound system here. And however, you can you can feel that it's also very nice, okay? And other than that, of course, you can download any kind of application on the system, like the Disney, or maybe you can even download the movie to the unit as well, okay? As you can see, you can also change the ambient light right here, okay? So how to change it? Basically, just click on go to apps right here, ambient light set, and then you can also change the other color, okay? So you can see it's very nice, right? So basically, you can also change this one, and then check some controls right here. Everything is fully compatible, okay? And this is the parking here. If your car comes with the parking sensor, you can also control from here, okay? This one is um, shift to four-wheel drive, okay? This one is a front windshield, okay? You can also change this one to the volume, okay? It's very nice, okay? This one change the temperature, as you can see. Okay, you can change this one to fan speed, okay? And then, And this one you can also change the volume here and of course this one also oh I'm gonna turn off the AC first and of course you can also try the radio uh, the radio okay so basically I'm gonna try the radio right here if you want to save the radio channel just click on the uh, Okay, on tap on the screen and then you will bring up this menu and then you can just hold the first position here now it has already been saved to the position number one okay so basically it's very user friendly and of course this car also come the backup camera this is the backup camera right here as you can see you also come with the active guy 9 okay when you turn the steering wheel the backup guide will also uh, be, be, be changed, you know, so the angle will also be changed according to the angle of the steering wheel. So this is also support this uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. Wireless Apple CarPlay, basically, they use the Bluetooth to pair the beginning. Once it get paired, you will switch to the back one with Wi-Fi. So how to connect to the um, Apple CarPlay, basically? Just go to the Bluetooth way right here. Okay, click on the icon here, and then you can connect to the Bluetooth, search the Bluetooth device, pair, allow. Okay, you automatically bring up this menu, pay attention to the cell phone here, use CarPlay. For the first time, it might take a little bit longer to pair, but once you get pair, you will automatically connect to the cell phone every time when you get into the car. This is wireless Apple CarPlay. As you can see, the screen edge is very, very nice, okay? 
okay the screen you can see the pixel density okay apple carplay will basically provide with the navigation phone call music and also you can read the message from whatsapp and all other messenger application from the apple carplay you can also navigate to the um, to the destination by this navigation map and of course it also support the voice control how to con uh, how to uh, how to activate the voice control basically just hold the bottom left corner what's the temperature today the high today will be 26 degrees celsius and the low will be 16 degrees celsius perfect and bring me to the gas station one option is Esso on Kennedy Road in Markham, a little over a kilometer to your east and it gets four It's very nice, points. okay, basically I really like the screen here and as you can see, it's also directly to the dash There's no cutting wire, no modification is required and, and the shape of the unit actually is brand into the dash very very well, okay, as you can see it looks like original and um this system can also be purchased from our website www.autotepro.com if you guys have any questions about the system please contact us after tepro we'll be more than happy to assist you thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye